And this is going to be a uh, new product for the NPR. Uh, we've had a lot of problem with the NPRs. Uh, people still on the batteries because they're a little cheap. It's supposed to be a lock here over the batteries. Uh, we had a lot of customers who asked for something different on these. Uh, the way we had to do them was run a two bar across here and a square tubing underneath, basically making a clamping system. Uh, However, that was causing people to have to trim their box, uh, so we've designed something a little different. Uh, another thing we are having problems with is on some of the NPRs, you have a lip here that goes up that holds the batteries in. Other ones have a lip that goes down. Uh, not sure why there's a difference, so we come up with this method here. This is the uh, bottom bracket of our locking system. We're going to set that in there, like this. Uh, you are going to have to drill two holes. Uh, make sure it's centered. Uh, let's see here. Although there is two holes already on the NPR uh, in the center, uh, we're not able to use those because they're too close and they'll interfere with the lock itself. Uh, so we'll take this, we'll just go ahead and mark this in here. Then we're going to drill it holes in this. We get this drill set up then we'll come back to you. Okay so now we drilled our two holes. If you look inside here and we drilled those. It's a, uh, we like to go a little higher than needed but this is a uh, 3164 drill bit. Uh, you want these holes to be a little bigger so you're not arguing with it. You're going to line this up with your existing loop. These two holes with those two on the tray. Then you're gonna put in your back battery. Right, so now we got our back battery in. We're going to uh, take this is the bottom anchor. It's gonna go underneath. And as you can tell, there's no bolt uh, heads on this, so there's no way for them on. Uh, use anything to take these off. Uh, run those up through there. That may be too tall. And then you have another plate here. It's just going to make everything a little wider, take a little more bite on the two batteries. You'll take the bottom locking, bottom, bottom part of the lock, you put that on there, Let's set you, your washers and nuts, and unfortunately I'm uh, not going to set this next battery in, I'm going to need uh, his help, so we're going to have to pause you for a minute here, and set to go. Now you see we've got both batteries in. This is stabling through the sides here. By doing this, what you're doing is you're locking down two corners. And as long as the two corners are locked down, there's no way for them to pry it from this way. Once it's tightened down, they cannot pry it from this way. These batteries will not come apart. Uh, we're going to tighten this down. we got to install the locking mechanism. Uh, and it will come right back to you. All right, so now we've got this tightened down. You can see the extension plates are here. Uh, you've got your higher angle here. So this battery is completely locked down. You can tell I can not move. I mean, I could, if I had a big screwdriver, I'd stick it in here and pry all I wanted. These batteries are not going anywhere. They're completely locked down. Uh, at this point, you just simply take your battery lock, put it over the bottom mount, and push it down, and that's it. This battery is locked down. Uh, nobody's getting these out. They cannot pry this thing loose. Uh, your batteries are secure. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at sales at batterylock.com. Or 817-717-0362. Thanks.